Hi, readers. We've discovered that letters make different sounds when we read them on a page. We've even learned that certain letter pairs, when put together, make certain sounds. When we read a word, we can identify these sounds as a certain part in a word. Today, we'll use our ears to listen for the beginning, middle, and ending sounds we hear in words. Let's start with the first word, fish. When I read this word, I hear different sounds. I hear f at the beginning because f is the first letter. Next, I hear i in the middle because i is in the middle. I hear sh at the end because s and h together make the ending sound. We know that anytime we see s and h together, we say the sh sound. Let's try another one. What do you hear at the beginning of this word? Sw. That's right. S and W create the beginning sound we hear. Sw. I learned that when S and W are put together, they make the sound sw. What do you hear next in the word? E. That's right. E and E make the middle sound of the word. What do you hear at the end? The last letter of the word is P. P is the final sound we hear. We have found the beginning, middle, and end sounds of each word. Let's try one more. What sound do you hear at the beginning of this word? What letters make that sound? Dr. D R. That's right. Remember, two letters together can make the beginning sound. What do you hear next in the word? What letters make that sound? Ah, the short O makes the middle sound of the word. What sound do you hear at the end of the word? What letter makes that sound? P, P that's right. Great job, eSpark readers. You use your ears to uncover the different parts of a word that create certain sounds.